Immortality. Tell me, child, are you scared? Do I frighten you? Is my knowledge of you unnerving? Oh, child of Cain, the sights in this haven pale in comparison to my ancestral estate. Comfort is a custom. And all of this artifice brings me closer to my home. Do not fear for my furniture, young one. Oh yes, the tape. Merely a test. Certainly not intended to fall into mortal hands. Fortunately, we are in the capital of mortal trickery and illusion. So did the tape drive you to find me? From whence flows your longing, child? To gouge out the eyes of the Camarilla. The sewers are clogged with my creations. I will kill or drive the Nosferatu from their pestilent nests. Without the sewer rats to guide them, the Camarilla will be blind to the Sabbat's designs. It is not for me. It's for the will of the Sabbat. The Camarilla is stunted, dead and festering in the womb, good only as pawns of the fathers. Even now, they answer the call of the ancient and seek to free him from his torpor. He slumbers within the uncurrent sarcophagus. One of the fathers whose return shall hearken the reckoning. Guhena is at hand, and the Camarilla are unwittingly speeding us all toward our doom. Blessed creatures, I have broken through their mortal crust and drawn from them their greatest strength. Mutability. I coax a bone, weave flesh, and lay sinew tight until it strains to lash out. Illegals, mongrels, half-bloods, and caitiff, the bane of society, kindred and kin. They are as of little consequence to authority as they are to me. It is a culling of sorts. Perhaps, but they are exquisitely functional. Still, there's an uncanny elegance to even this, my most mercenary of designs. Not too much for those of us able to give the gift of metamorphosis, young one. I know you have a cold appreciation for the aesthetic of my creations. I see awe and longing in your eyes. Now, Camarilla Welp, let me see you fight your nature in the face of those who have embraced their beast. Deny yourself Cain's gifts and be torn asunder by my minions. Yeah! <laughs> 
Evening. <laughs> Exceptional. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. I missed you. Did you miss me? Hey, you. It's a long time. are all rotten and the storm is our death sentence what do you need like what you did did you i'm not getting my hands dirty we have more going on than anyone could guess at could be anywhere really hmm thanks i guess Funny thing is, I could care less. Never mind. Don't take it hard, fledgling. You're just a pup. The sewers are all muddy with a thousand lowly suicides.
By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh, you might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. We are talking. But you aren't listening, boss. 
I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me. After all, I didn't crash your party. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. I like to discuss business face to face. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> Behind you, boss. Boo! What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. Little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why, might I ask, should I give you that information? Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but... I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Quajin? The Quajin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. Gee, that's original. You think that up all by yourself? You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao. Ask her where my boy is and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Forget it, boss. It's Chinatown. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then... You'll never know where I am. Miss me, boss? I can't believe she got the cover of Glamorella this month.
I mean, just look at her. Too fat, big teeth in her complexion. Does she wash her face with a cheese grater? I mean, like anyone ever knew who Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene, she'd still be a fluff girl at vivisection, making ten bucks a stiffy if I was still around. Ugh. Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Imalia. Last name? God, that's so blue collar it makes me want to puke. I don't have a last name. Emalia's a look, an attitude, a state of being. Before this neat little makeover, I used to be a model. I was all over the place. TV, magazines, billboards. I mean, I was hot. Super hot. And I knew it, which is why Gary decided to invite me into his freaky little family. I don't want to kill her. That's too quick and painless. I want to ruin her name in the business for good. I want to dig up something on her that smells so bad even the tabloids will think twice about printing it. Gary says that everyone has to lay low until this thing with the prince cools down. Until then, I'm stuck here watching the whole world kiss Tawny's big, fat ass. I have some wireless cameras that I need you to set up in her apartment. One in her bedroom, one in her bathroom, and one in her kitchen. I'm sure you'll see good places to hide them once you're there. Once the cameras are in place, you'll need to hook them up to the network. Log into her computer using the password Cleopatra. From there, you'll be able to activate the cameras. Look, I'll definitely make it worth your while if you do it right. But listen, I don't want her dead. I want her to suffer. Get in and get out without her knowing about it. Understand? You will? Great. Here are the cameras. She lives in Hollywood, an apartment building right across from the Lucky Star Motel. I had someone here dig up a spare key to her apartment for me. Take that, too. Sure. Whatever. Nosferatu have a sixth sense of humor. Sometimes they feel that their victims, namely moi in this particular case, have an overabundance of vanity and need to be taught an important life lesson. Well, I had just won Guy Magazine's The Most Ridiculously Hot Chick in the Known Universe Award. And when I came home after the ceremony, lo and behold, Gary was sitting there on my couch with a martini in his hand. You fill in the blanks. Yeah, the lesson is, life is a cold-hearted bitch, so now I get to be one, too. You get that? You need to write it down? What the... <laughs> oh, you did not just try and run a trace on me. All right. Take that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you backed up that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when his mom starts getting love letters from porn sites. <sighs> what? Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow. You really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnick. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? LaCroix's girl. I'm surprised you actually made it down here. <sighs> Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. 
Gary wants me to keep a close on the street, and at the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the sh uh, the net network. <laughs> Not nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. But Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. Y yeah, you, you do that? Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. Make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> Uh, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD, you name it. One time... <laughs> I emailed the president all the nuclear missile activation codes. <laughs> and the FBI was shitting their pants. <laughs> but one day I ran across this system. Oh, totally dark. Unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Did, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost given up. But I caught a lucky break one night and finally broke in. <laughs> It was, uh, uh, Nosferatu database. Not even a really important one, either. Which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while, got totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Two hours later, guess who shows up at my door? Gary. <laughs> and voila, here I am. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love the shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna win any beauty contests, but I wasn't too good looking before anyway. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me.
How's that whole blood sucking thing working out for you? Moon comes up, dead come out, hammer comes down. TV gets a lousy reception. All in all, life's having a round swell. Evening. Here. And thanks again for your help earlier. And remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you.
Did you see the papers? She killed herself. Can you believe it? After the story hit the tabloids, she swallowed half a bottle of Valium and washed it down with a fifth of gin. It couldn't have been more perfect. Here, you definitely earned it. You want to get on my good side? Then don't come back here until you've got last year's copy of Guy magazine where I'm on the cover. You know, the one where I was wearing the gum wrapper and the two bottle caps. Hey, uh, hot pants. The name's Flynn. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment. Anything you want, you can get at the sin bin. Depraved ain't a four-letter word here. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah? What do you want to know? Sure, pal. You want this month's issue? Tawny Sessions is on the cover wearing nothing but scotch tape and a pair of gym socks. I'm sure you do. Everyone wants a copy of that. She went missing last year and no one knows what happened to her. That one's a collector's item, honey. Gonna cost you a pretty penny. I don't know. Nanny Malia was quite a piece of rump roast. I never wanted to be a gum wrapper more in my whole life. I couldn't part with it for any less than 500. <laughs> Here you go. I'm sure you'll get a lot of enjoyment out of it. Huh? They are. Oh, man, that's uh, weird. I, I don't know how that could have happened. Someone must have... Uh... Spilled something on it, or, well, uh, yeah. Sorry about that.
Oh my god! I can't believe you found it! I've been trying to get a copy of that for years! Well, yeah, I guess. It's against my better judgment, but I guess I'll give you a little something for the effort. Take this. I'm so glad you're back. I've been waiting forever. I've been kind of nervous. I can't feel you inside my veins anymore. I just need a little more, please. Master, just a few drops. Oh, thank you. Amazing. I feel so much better. Like I'm the most important person in the world. Next to you, of course. Most promising apprentice, I have an important task to discuss with you. As Tremere, our greatest power, our greatest concern is knowledge into the nature of our kind, not just our clan, but all kindred. The most peculiar are the Malkavians. You see, the Malkavians are afflicted with a type of incurable madness. It's different among each of them, but ever-present. Although leaving a tragic tarnish on their minds, it also imbues them with a certain insight. It affords them an understanding of things they would have no knowledge of otherwise. 
We the Tremere would have much to gain from learning how they achieve this. Your role would be as an investigator, by any means necessary. I want you to learn of their secrets. It's difficult to say, Neonate. Having no understanding of this beast makes it difficult to say indeed. Perhaps interviewing a prominent Malkavian would be of benefit to you. One last thing. There is another way. It pains me to even utter these words, but one would indubitably understand Malkavian insight by diablerizing a Malkavian. That is, to consume the Malkavian's blood until he or she is no more. I understand your reluctance, Neonate. It would be a last resort in any case. If you do not wish to participate in this duty, I shall find another, more willing pupil. Excellent. If I may help you get started, there are two sisters that run a nightclub in Santa Monica who you could speak with. Their blood is of Malcalf. And remember, Diablerie is to be a last and discreet option. I'm glad you're here. I've heard you've been up to quite a bit lately. Very interesting. I was hoping you could help me with something. A little bird said they spotted you down in the Warrens. Gonna be back there soon. I'm looking for a data CD. It was lost down there, supposedly. Find it for me and I'll teach you a thing or two. Some stuff that could really come in handy for you, from the sound of things. Hmm, great, great. Go to the Warrens, then find the data CD. Don't bother asking around for it. I've already made a pest of myself about this. Just find it, and bring it back. Ah, excellent. Now listen up, fledgling. You might want to take notes.
hey, how you doing? You got it. Good evening to you. I'm sorry, I, I can't help you. Took a trip to see a friend of mine. He's a quartermaster down at a police station in O.C. Guy's been miffed about a pay freeze, so he's agreed to start filling my wish list for a cut. Got a SWAT rifle out of this trip. Interested? Anything I can do for you tonight? Concerning? Who exactly? Ah, you're talking about the Kuei Jin. Like you types, but different. Anarchs had just finished fighting him when the Camarilla came to town. Let me give you some advice. Stay out of Chinatown till they raised our flag in those parts. Concerning? Specifically? I don't go down to Chinatown. Nobody who does comes back. Something going on down there with the Kuei Jin I don't understand, nor do I need to. Stay out's the best advice I can give.
kitten, do you really think I'm so stupid to not know the real reason you're here? Please, let me hear your pathetic lies. Oh, of course, it starts with questions, it always does. Just like all the others Strauss has sent here. So young, so naive. Please, didn't he tell you we can see into your very soul? So I can see you'd plainly take my blood if I didn't gift wrap it for you and your little Camarilla blood king. You'd destroy me to know my nature. As fun as that may be, I'd rather watch you scream for mercy. Surprised to see me, my child? I know you must have many questions. I was destroyed in the physical world, but my essence lives on in eternity. Be calm, child. This world is an illusion of your mind. In reality, you're a catatonic mess. You're trapped here. My purpose is to help you overcome your own personal boundaries. As I said, child, it's all recorded. I am you. You must traverse your mind and find a place you can call home. There. You must decide your priorities in this world. I'll find you once you've done this. Farewell, my progeny. Choose wisely. You're here. How are you? We've all missed you so much. I'm here to help you. Don't you remember your old friends and family? Don't you miss us after what happened to you? You shouldn't just throw it all away. You still have a responsibility to the people that loved you. You can't let this curse overcome who you were. You have to let go of this power you've gained. It's corrupting you. You need to come home. Hey, player. Remember me? Just wanted to remind you what this was all about. I was your first adversary. A true test of your might. Not many players that could do what you did that night. I'm finished because of you. Just saying, if I could do half the shit you could, I'd be on top of the world right now. 
Shit is holding you back, girl. You're still attached to all those old feelings, your friends and your family. Keep thinking about that shit, and you will never reach your max. You gotta realize sacrifice ain't always a bad thing. You gotta accept the fact that it's lonely at the top. Go get rid of what's tying you down, and you will rise to the occasion. I guarantee it. You, uh, take care of that thing yet? What's happening? Guess you'd say that's why ain't nobody come to my funeral, huh? I suppose you're right. Pushing drugs only made me king of a bunch of fucking crackheads and put me in the grave. Forget it then. Keep your friends. What is it? I see. Maybe you're right. Life has changed. And we all have adjusted without you around. Perhaps some things are better left endeared only in memory. Interesting choices you've made there, child. I hope you find your decision to be a wise one. Indeed. But there's another decision for you to make. You need to decide what your place in the world is. It will all be clear in due time. Seek out the avenues of your travels and make a choice. Good evening, Neonate. It's good to see you again. Know that your ordeal here is almost over. I'm merely a reflection of yourself. This place is only a cavity of your own mind, one you must escape or be condemned to for eternity. As my apprentice, you understand the importance of obedience. This is why you must root out the radical spirit that would teach you otherwise. It only wishes to undermine your ability to succeed. Free thinking is endearing, but free action is dangerous. Without the guidance of authority, you're liable to destroy yourself. Very good. Seek out that which moves without bounds and deliver it from your mind. Hey kid, what's up? 
Listen, there's a lot going on these days. I'm sure you figured that out. You need to take a side. What I mean is that freedom and order were not meant to exist together. Now, you can go lay down and be the lapdog of some Camarilla elder. I'm sure I'll be real cozy. But I'll be the first to tell you that calling your own shots is the only way to be. Damn right. Let me tell you something, kid. The most valuable contribution you can make to society is being your own person. Doing your own thing. Wrangling yourself in the shackles is the only way. Go find your slave key. Show him where you stand. Yes, Neonate. Of course. What is it? Please, clarify your meaning. Hmm, an interesting perspective indeed. Stemming from the philosophy of the mystic yin-yang, each force refutes and needs the other. Neonate, you are wise in your youth. I shall consider your words carefully. What's up? What's on your mind? Middle ground? There's no room for it. You give them an inch, they take a hundred miles. You know, I never thought about it that way. Leadership through the invisible hand. Newbie, I think you might be onto something. Hello again. Your journey is almost at its end. There is but one last task you must complete. Now that you've determined your priorities and your place in the world, seek out the source of your power. There, you will determine your true nature. Before you go, child, surely you must have questions. I will answer one before I leave you forever. You were chosen because of the power and grace your spirit possesses. Your place in the world was picked out long before your embrace. You were to become the pivot point in a game much more immense than you will be able to comprehend. Centuries from now, maybe you'll truly understand your role tonight.
Well, well, well. If it isn't Johnny Do Good, here to save the world from himself. <laughs> yes, I'm you, you fool. Are you that daft? Never mind. You and I, we need to talk. You've been talking to yourself this whole time, fool. It's just the first time you're looking in a mirror. Get a grip and listen to what I'm saying. Ditch the hero act. Think about number one. Forget about anyone else. It's a mean, hard world. And the only way to get ahead is to lie, steal, and kill your way to the top. Just ask the prince. Please, tell me you're joking. Have you gained anything more than a few bucks for doing the prince's dirty work? Do you think Isaac would have given a second thought if you'd been ripped apart in that madhouse? And those pathetic sisters? You gave that lunatic free therapy so that you could go on a suicide mission? Am I making myself clear? I never considered that before. Hmm. Perhaps memory is our only real legacy. Twin, you've given me something to think about. You've woken. You've been in a trance for almost three nights now. I was quite afraid you'd never awake. What happened? I'm sorry, my apprentice. I'm used to having a certain degree more of influence over my pupils, and not having that same luxury in your case. I didn't want to startle you. I did not anticipate your condition. It seemed that you may have never awoken. You've been screaming nonsense since you fell under this madness. Tell me, what is it that you saw while you were there? Interesting. Perhaps the Malkavian's dreams offer perspectives they would not have otherwise. Your research has been invaluable. Excellent work, Neonate. Thank you.